And I think it's going. Let's see. Live. Hello, everybody. I think we are live. I hope so that we are, but I cannot see now. That, oh, where's our thing? Where's our thing? I do not. I hope we could well might be. Oh, yeah. We are live. Hello, people. How are you today? Hi, Magpie. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. We are in a dancing mood. I haven't talked all day because I gave three tests to students. So I'm in a very, very energetic mood. And I am coming off the end of my code. Jonathan! Mm -hmm. Jonathan. Hello. Okay. We get a little bit more time. Remy, hello. Remy. Mm -hmm. We know who our real fans are. The real ones that are here on the dock. That song has been in my head all freaking day, and I cannot get it out. So I'm dancing to it now. Okay, okay, um, now we're good. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So, where shall we begin? I believe we we have been on communicado in terms of where we wanted to start, but I think we might want to explain to the people at home where our our minds are at. So we we had a couple of ideas. Um, the early one, which was kind of a joke, was seeing as I had and still have a bit of a cold, talking about how kind of health and the body works in um, Yachai, Yachai being the Protolang kind of culture. Um, and then the other one was um, just to do some more stuff with classifiers, because they're such a big part of how uh, yeah, Tlao works. Mm -hmm. And we have not been keeping track of which classifiers are which. So we had entertained the melding of kind of going down the, the medicinal world building side of things and kind of going down that and missing it with some classifier grammar business. And we might even get some new ones out of this. So fair enough. I'm hoping so. So, because we didn't actually have a word for nose until quite recently. We did We did not. That was half embarrassing. I was, I think I was trying to analogize a certain, um, like, expression. And I believe I'm on the dock now. If you see at home, yeah, let's go. Mm. So, um... What are they saying? So one thing to um, mm. kind of preface the whole discussion is that classifiers as a term, I, I think that conlangers are used to playing with um, noun classes a lot now. Um, noun classes are something where we kind of know what the rules of the game are in terms of requiring some kind of um, agreement, um, or at least reinforcement between the the kind of thing being classified and the noun classifier system. Um, whereas, oh, sorry, sorry, the thing being classified by the class system. Um, this is one of the things where the the words we use aren't super clear because a, a noun classifier is is such a big category if we go just based on like just just building off of the kind of core words in the this area of linguistics. Mm. 
So I, I posted the classifier kind of section. So those at home kind of give a good idea about how we use classifiers in Yatlao. So they are used at least from our examples. Now, they are definitely for sure used between num num numerals, so that one said numerical values, numerals and demonstratives. And the kind of like, um, how do I phrase this? The interpretation that we have after it, we're saying that noun following just nearly any modifiers would require a classifier. Now that's how it sounds. I am in the camp where it is just with between adjectival phrases. So we'll see how that goes moving forward, but we use liberal use of these classifiers and having us not basically have one-to-ones in which one is used with a lot of these is important. I think it's also hilarious that neither Jonathan nor Magpie well, Magpie for sure does not have apparently a word for nose in Jiaodang, but Jonathan and Towal says that it is Psat. So Psat is this little little guy right there. Um, and what? Oh, oh my God! It was Mubu, wasn't it? It was. I think so. Yeah, in uh, in Kongwa, it came out as Mubu. Mubu. Um, and in Yatlao, nose came out as uh, umu. Um, umu. Oh, oh it was wamu. Oh. Wamu. Wamu. Because it's okay. you. Let's see. Just so we can see it at home. Nose. Umu. 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 Noise. So I um, oh, proceed forward. Mateus, Mateus, hello. I, I, I don't need to be shouting. Um. Yes, I, I, when I had laughed, I, I got a, um, a reducing noise notification from Google Meet. Um, nose uh, is now Pamba or pa Pamba, Pamba, Pamba. Pamba. Map, I get it that IPA. I, I hope I, I'm, I'm parsing it as a pre prenasalized or a code of prenasalized. So, for Pernado. those who are completely paying attention to the doc and not us, you will see that to, tomorrow's word is already done. It is the word for cotton. Why are we saying that it is cotton? Great question. You will see that there's that little back. Arrow. So we had derived um, the word for um, cotton in Yatlao from Kongwa. So if we have a little gosh darn peaky poo, we needed to yeah, come turn. up with somehow some way to use this dry route, 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 route in um doop 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 in Kongwa because this is a very we heavily used particle. We pair it up with this word, which I'm gonna have zero shame in controlling effing this is to be white. So basically cotton is white lichen, and we co op that Jesha, Jesha, and then in the Yatlao Chai Sha. Try, try, shot. Yeah, because one one of the big differences between Kongwa and Klao is that Kongwa has a climatic shift. Um, so a lot of words can kind of enter the language through leaving this temperate rainforest setting, which is so important to mm -hmm. the the proto language as well. Um, and then we we end up kind of reinforcing it in um, well we we can kind of reinterpret things based on the island culture and then uh, because there's still contact between the Kongwa speakers and the Yatlao speakers, there's a a feed a loop there, so. 
Um, other routes in uh, Yeja exist in Yatlao, but because cotton is coming from the south, um, they, they're using this Kongwa word for it, which I don't think we had done before, had we? We had what? We hadn't um, borrowed a word from Kongwa into... Oh, no, we did for Catamaran, for David and Jesse's anniversary. Oh. Not anniversary, I wedding. Did. That was cute, yeah. Anyway. Anywho, I think we are ready to start the, the world building. Well, I did think oh. we, we might want to actually explain slightly more how classifiers work just in um in Kongwa. We probably don't need to do the 101, but maybe like a 102. Cool. So where should we because I had put up the like little classifier like this. If we go back there, I think awesome. we should be able to um so um, this is kind of inspired by some of some of how classifiers get used in Vietnamese, um, where in in theory, the when on paper it says that they're used um, kind of with demonstratives uh, and numbers, it, it in reality the classifiers do get used for clarificatory purposes, mm. like in a much wider way um, to the extent where if you're learning fruits, for example, you generally learn the words with the classifier that describes them. Um, um, and that also varies. This isn't a Vietnamese class. Anyway, um, um, in Kong Hoa, um, in, well, in uh, Yat Lao, they kind of are inspired in a way um, by Amazonian uh, classifier systems. So um, Kongwa represents this better because classifiers are used within the verbal paradigm. Heck yeah, they are. Um, but in Yatlao, um, the the primary function is to um, indicate that a noun is part of a uh, noun phrase. Essentially, um, I forgot quite how extensively this was used. Um, I thought that we were able to. Uh, for for a while, we were allowed to have a modifying adjective without this. So we had a uh, tsui tsui, if I'm remembering right, which was oh, yeah, a green fan versus a tsui, yeah, tsui tsui, tsui tsui, which would be um, uh, the fan that is green. Um, these days, that's all um, ironed out. That is ungrammatical. Yeah. Yes, and Jonathan, I also agree that it is very similar to learning like articles with their associated gender, the dear, the, dear Das Das, the, the um, oh my God, Dare D Das, there we go. I think the, the main difference is that with, I guess it's, it's not always intuitive. Um, it is not always intuitive. But in general, like it's it's not oh, like no. with with gender sometimes it can feel completely arbitrary which gender something is assigned to whereas mm. for example in vietnamese sugarcane is counted differently to other sweet vegetable matter or whatever because it's a cane and so it's counted in long thin things rather than in uh, round things, which is what most fruit uses. Um, so, so what 
I'm kind of doing and those at home can kind of see where we are at here. I am just doing some mapping on and starting some dictionary entries. So I have put for this little mushroom, the Amanita mushroom. I might change this because if I'm not mistaken, this little dude is extremely poisonous and we have a completely different yeah. classifier for that guy. So this, ch ch that's the edible mushroom for the ones that are not going to kill you. But the Zoom Bapadouble is the one for the naughty mushrooms and plants. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. The ch is for edible mushrooms and woads. I'm sorry. And woads. Wow. Woads. So we need to do this guy here. And this is a, is a part of our nice little classifier fawn, as I have been calling it. There, look at that. And I think that's good enough. I can't imagine needing any more um, more for that. I've realized that affix is also a, um, would probably be the chin suffix. So while I'm here, I will just do some copying and a pasting. So, on on Jonathan's question, they they asked, uh, could there be irregular nouns with the wrong classifier, or would that just get regularized? I think it's um, yes and no. Um, I I'm keep thinking of um, oh, we'll get there, Jonathan. Um, so. What can happen is, um, so on the one hand, uh, Korean, for example, uses some uh, numeral classifiers a lot more generally than in uh, Japanese, for example. So, um, but they also have a, a significant uh, number of classifiers, which are just for certain items so there's classifiers for languages and there's also classifiers for things like bowls of rice uh, which is different to a bowl of anything else um and yeah you you got there jonathan um and so uh, yes go ahead um it it kind of makes me think of um I'm thinking of like Tamil. So uh, Tamil's gender system is is based entirely on the thing itself, rather than um, it being um, a, a, a abstract concept which is somehow linked to the the word that is being classified by the noun class. Um, whereas um, and classifiers as well, because they aren't a part of the word, um, they do tend to be regularized. Um, like in, in Mandarin, for example, if you forget the word for a classifier, as long as it's not for um, animals, uh, is is fairly well remembered. But if you're a learner and you use uh, ge, which is the general all-purpose classifier, you're generally not, people aren't going to think too badly of you. It's just not the the best option in many cases. So I'm going to answer some, some questions in chat um, and then kind of um, put something in the Yat Cloud doc. I call it Yat Cloud affectionately, let's be honest. But to Jonathan's point, the connection between the affix and the lobster mushroom. So uh, um, you do your thing, Jonathan. You watched this back, and good thing I, I realized this, but it is a mushroom that grows like parasitically. Actually, it's not a mushroom. It is a parasitic fungus that grows out of other mushrooms. And our word for, well, word, is derived from the mushrooms and what's an affix other than something growing from a word but 
in our little yeah cloud dock if i get there i kind of have started a little foray into this so in the Yachai culture, traditional medicine worked or will be working by balancing three opposing yet complementary blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to call them, but there are pairs of something. Uh, like, we could think of them as, we're basically looking for a metaphor, right? Mm -hmm. So we well, no. could think about them as like fluids, or energies, or um, I'm trying to think what else we might use in this situation. Um, I'm trying to think so as well. Um, um, spirits. Um, well, we we have spirits in Yatai culture. And they are kind of independent beings that exist mm. on a on a in the same space, but on a separate kind of level to humans. Mm. Um, I'm thinking about this is this is this is for um future us maybe having some sort of muse type deal with that, but that's a whole nother story. But we have fluids, we have energies, we have like um, I'm trying to think like what Reiki does, like or like Reiki is energy as well. Yeah, chakras are their own little thing, but I don't know. Like chakras feels appropriative. Hmm. Well, I mean, um, the the kind of uh, um, that that tradition. I mean, chakras they they mean wheel, right? Yes. Um, and. It's about kind of different points of energy within the body, which is, it's one of these, some of these ideas, they do exist across um, multiple kind of cultures. Um, I think as long as, as long as we are kind of open about where we're getting our ideas from. Um, I recently finished a, a great book about uh, trying to systematize indigenous um, medicine systems in China, Ooh. which is where some of this conversation ended up coming from. Ah. Um, 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 it's so um, in, in the kind of sinosphere, if we're comfortable with that. Um, so the the area of cultural influence from China, you have this idea of uh, qi or qi, um, which is um, oh, it is just that. It's kind of life force. Force is another one of these words, isn't it? Life force. And I'm also kind of I'm gonna be zipping and zopping people at home. Um, so it, Jake will probably be typing, and I'm going to be just bouncing and booping back towards the lexicon. I'm putting up some relevant, like, medicinal terms. So we have those kind of in our own little bubble to kind of see where we need to um, bolster stuff. Yeah. I mean, blood is one of them. Oh. It's... Uh... It's one of those things where it seems to be universally important. Um, I, I, I mean, biologically important too. Yeah, no one, no <laughs> one's cutting themselves and thinking, "Oh, what a normal thing." To no, they're not. Unfortunately, happened to me. We have no like organ. Like we have heart. Heart. Heart is a organ. We have heart, we have liver, we have intestines. Um, we have heart. Um, oh, goodness. Um, we have skin and we have lung. Okay, so we're getting there. All right. Yeah. Um, so bile, they would need a word for, theoretically, if they, if they, if they are aware of... Oh, liver is 
Slime. Slime. Mm. Slime. 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 But yes, yeah, so I slime. think. Oh, slime. I think a word for bile is necessary. Look. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking more so like, says, yeah, we have words so, like, for hands. But like, I'm thinking like internal organs, like things that excrete stuff, like bladders and kidneys and that. We have, okay. we, we have, we have lung, right? Yeah. Didn't we have lung? Yeah. Okay. Um, has it not made it onto the plow? Yeah. Okay. Ah. I'm just making sure I don't think what I say. Um, oh, intestines. Lungs, intestines, no intestines over nya. So. Uh, okay. So we, we said three or six? We said six. So it's three, three opposing yet continental like pairs. Pairs of things that like need to be like if one like is out of whack if one's too high the other one can kind of like balance it mm -hmm. um like so, my, my brain's going to like the four humors mm -hmm. so like we might need a word for i can't believe i'm saying this we might need a word for urine We have a word for urine. Oh, wonderful. I hope it's I yellow think, salt yeah. and water. Eh. Ooh, ooh, now I gotta see people at home. Let's see, urine is oh it's a root. How cute. We're gonna put that up there because that's gonna be one of our fluids. Because what is blood other than oh your bless your little heart? Um bl like blood and urine go hand in hand, right? Right. I mean, yeah, because like the kidneys filter your blood to make the urine. So th th we're also we're dealing with a a culture which uh, isn't kind of uh, like one of the big things that prevent us from understanding some of these things is uh, a taboo against chopping people up. Ah. Uh. Um, I don't know if our culture will have that. Um, yeah, it, it's seeming like they're they're pretty open with the hashing and the slashing of the dead. There, there, there are some hash singing slashers down in the in the Yak Cloud verse. So, because I mean, a lot of these words they they will exist because I mean, especially. Uh, we have goats and stuff. There, there will be animals with similar enough systems for them to kind of recognize things. Um, I mean, we could think about three kind of systems, couldn't we? If, if we're thinking, if hot and cold are managed by the circulatory system, mm -hmm. then. Uh, yes and no. Uh, um, uh, Respirat respiratory. We, we also, we... How 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 do you say okay. th Ooh, this word? Oh this yeah, word. yeah, that word there. Respiratory. Re respiratory. 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 Respir respiratory. It is. Ooh, yes, they did. I'm. I'm hoping that like there is some like like in like potential battle between like Ya Cloud and Kongwa speakers, and they split, and this is uh, this, like little history thing. I think that might come up eventually. But I do like this hot and cold circulatory. Um, I yeah, I believe it does, Jonathan. Like, let's be honest. But um, hot and cold. 
Let's see. Um, yes and no, in and out. No. Um, Up and down. Yeah. You know, wrong and right. Maybe Black like. And white. Oh, like <laughs> thinking of like your cold, right? Like, I mean, your your nose got <laughs> clogged up. So, like, your respiratory system could be, like, open versus closed. Either you're breathing, like, clearly or you're breathing with a blockage. You're, you're, you're closed. Yeah, so that's, that's a lot of the foundational idea of Chinese traditional medicine. Ooh. That, that basically the system will fix itself if everything can move. But... If if you have a blockage, then it throws the whole system off. Mm. Is that would um, that be its own separate system, or that be its like like the duality of it? Um, that from in the Chinese medical system, that's just a core aspect of core it. Aspect of it. Okay, I'm trying to think. Um, of old and hot and cold it could be like I mean. God, why am I harping on the P? Like maybe I'm projecting, but like I'm thinking like you know, if if someone was diabetic, right? They first figured that out by drinking the P, and that was a, a really big like um, aspect of early medicine. So potentially sweet versus salty could be like an axis. I I think that's an interesting. Um... An interesting way to take it, because we also have this um, this cultural distinction between the land and the sea as well, don't we? Oh yeah, and, uh, rivers and seas too. Uh, so one one of the metaphors that we're employing is that the river is like a a body, and the sword is the mouth, and the mouth of the river. Mm. is uh, the other end of the digestive system. Hell yeah, it is. Uh, because I don't know what I'm allowed to say on YouTube streaming. Uh, mm. I, 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 know, I know some some phrase that you want to say, and I agree with you. But yes, we're starting from that river, and then we're, we're flowing down into that sea. So maybe like fresh versus like brackish water one fresh. one thing that is um a feature of like the the um forgive me german speakers Uheimer, like this original area mm. like these these areas where you have a piece of land with the very high mountains to the side mm. They have these rivers that run parallel to each other, right? Yeah. Um, <gasps> Go so ahead. We could, if we think about the the body as having three parallel rivers, like we well, have. It's a, more what I was thinking about going, but 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 I'm liking this. So you have like. You're like three rivers that flow into your like mouth of life and begin like your mouth of life. And like each rain is like a replenishing of like the rivers and you have to keep your rivers in some sort of semblance of fresh. I, I can't tell if that's a, a positive or a negative the taste. The taste is saying that the stream is very visceral. Yeah, I think, I think we're a lot of good stuff. The most visceral calling stream released this <laughs> year. But like, is that is that a not a bad idea? What? With like, you have three rivers flowing into like the source, right? And that source is like, you're like, if, if we're analogizing it as like the digestive tract. Then you eat, and then you go out into the sea, and you need to continually like fill that source with fresh things that will induce like I don't know 
a, a, a pure path down to the sea that am I making sense kinda kinda I got I'm, I'm, I'm playing off because I thought you were going with like the like the little like fluid the little um do 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 parallel rivers were like kind of like um the kidney and about how it kind of like filters off stuff yeah i like to consume release sort of stuff i that wasn't quite where i was going um i i, I knew that like, but i was i was thinking like because you have when, when you breathe the kind of uh enters you and then leaves very quickly it does and then you have your digestion which is slower but external to internal and then you have this like internal it's it's almost like the breathing it's like the atmosphere on top of the land then the digestion is the river and then your internal work is like a cave i'm vibing um, with that like um, metaphor uh the body is a landscape yeah the the, the body is a um a river valley it's like the wind and we already have a word for uh, wind spirits, right? Yeah, we do. Be. So um, for the um, for the uh, relay, we so we got this text, and it was talking about the um, these uh, this thing that was making people. Oh, yeah, I kind of go stupid. Um, and we were like, uh, don't know what this is, but we're gonna. We knew we had shamans, so we were just like, oh, I guess wind spirits that could live in a tree. Uh, because we, we, yeah, we thought it was living in trees, and so, um. Yeah. Um, oh, if if the body is like the earth, then or a cave, then you could, in theory, heal your heal the stuff you can't access by burying things. As analogy, I'm liking this. I'm liking this, and it would mean that. If you were having problems breathing, like I have been for the past two weeks, you would you would try and put something into the wind. You would, you would hang wind chimes up. And we, we already have a word for to hang wind chimes. Well, 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 I mean, right there. So we have our re re respiratory system. Sometimes, oh yeah, well, you're not a person. And then you sound like, <laughs> I've been watching um, Living for the Dead, and I'm just like, you sound like Ken from Kentucky. Like, like something's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also keeping a cognitive time. We are 50 minutes out and have, like, no words. Yeah, I think it's time for us to start um, yeah. thing. So I think a word for bile is a root for darn sure. And I'm feeling I'm feeling very flu fluid. I'm feeling very like like um let's so see. This is where we get the audience to do our oh, for us. I'm sorry, right? audience. Audience, you want to posit a root for bile?
And if uh, I'm, I'm going to scroll up once again to our handy dandy proto phonology. Remember that we are here with a C, any lateral, any approximate, more or less, and V. -v. No, we'll put their ideas in. Maybe we should talk about how we're going to deal with the ideas of respiration and digestion. Um, because to respire, I yeah. think we we would be fine with how we take a. I guess in in your thought, we could in theory do it by applying a classifier to a noun. A verb, I mean. Probably so. Couldn't we? Um, the other thing would be to combine it to say like a a lung breathing process. Like, like a, a, the idea of a process classifier is is not something. That Um, and I'm going to see, I hear you clicking, and I don't see any suggestions yet for bile. I'm feeling like... No. Let's see how... D Z that and then we'll try a little bit of that and then we'll maybe do a little bit of mm -hmm. let's say between these running 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 cool so I think we might have a word for this already, but we have pro from D Z I We don't have one. So but oh actually, you know what? That could be cool. Because I have a form for bile. Where were we at? We're here. That would be C, 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 and then our word for urine is C, and that's a that's a cool minimal pair. Hmm. And how? Mm, I do like this though better in actuality. I have D L I A for tibia. Also, potentially not a proto form, and I'm going to call it that. Tibia. Tibia. Uh, Tibia. Tibia. Uh, where are we at? Do, 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 do. Noise word. Let's go. Tibia. Word. Tibia. Okay. So, having a look in the list of uh, Korean ones. Mm. Um, they, they, um, a counter which is for categories, kinds, sorts, groups, and ways. Oh. Um, so the, the example they have is uh, pantan se gati, which is pantan, so like side dishes, oh. se, three, gati, ways. So it could be that we, we have this word, uh, is it isu or ise, path? Oh, yeah, is, well, um, isu, I know for sure is path. Isu, yeah. So if we, I don't know if we're overusing it. In um, It gets used in quite a few grammaticalizations to basically refer to uh, a a literal path or choice that you make. Um, although I, I think that it's it's used quite a lot as a um, as a metaphor. 
Yeah. Which is making me think that now it can be used for like health and wellness, maybe. Hi, Arias. Hi, Arias. Maybe, and where we are working on thinking of some medicinal terms, um, thinking of the, 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 the traditional medical system of the Khan culture here. We could we could also count things in rivers if we Yeah, I like that. And it could be that we do both but in different situations. Both those groups and stuff and both like hmm. So like uh to to uh, to count a a river would the baby be to count a way that something happens um naturally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to count a path is to count is a thing that you choose to do yeah like decisions um like weather mm -hmm. events um breaths i think could be one um what else um so um are we just popping things at the end of the um list yeah let's do it okay so and now we've reduced all of them down to one or some of them are two syllables so i think we can keep isu quite clear as a pa i think so, we... uh, that's like a a method uh, a way chosen And then why? I had a really good idea, and I'm going to. And let me see where you are at for those at home. Fly is ooh, yes. Natural, pro yeah. And and we also both know that we also have no generic, like, classifier for just, like, if you don't know, like, we need to kind of get we that. We kind of need one of them. Yeah, I think it's due time to have, have the generic one. So two two things as you were classifying literally is that we also don't have a word for to breathe, but also I thought the word for to digest, if I kind of give some words here, is could be a metaphor meaning to result in um, salty water. Because that's how the river will make the digestion go. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe, um, mm, well, I'm trying to think. That's already, um, how would that actually come out? Because that's already a nasal thing going at. And that's I'm, I'm saying to like to nominalize it to mean like digestion. We also don't have a word for breed, like in general. So that's you like mean, not um, the productive. Um, mm -hmm. We would to make a product noun. Yeah, oh. you you've verbalized the noun, but we can't really product noun the particle. 
Yeah, we can. So never mind that. Uh, but so I've to been to get the people back at home on track with what's happening. <laughs> um, so basically, we have a past tense modifier, mia, and it got reduced down into our proto nasal vowel. Uh, and we have verb final language so it's a prefix, and it means that something that's a result of having done something. Yes. So what we could make it the product of to eat. Digestion? Um, something, I guess that would end up being more like food or food in the sense of the thing that you, like a meal. Yeah. Um, which isn't a bad word to have thought of. Um, do we have a word for to eat? Yeah, yeah. we definitely have a word for to it's, eat. Oh, it's gonna be nah. nah. So, um it, we made some interesting choices uh, when we were developing this language. Now, is that the word for meal or food or both? It would be food in the sense of um, something that you have eaten or um, the, it's it's food, but in a in a done sense, I guess. Um, it's food. Um, like, I don't think you could say there's a na on the table. No. Um, you um, Unless you vomited the na up. <laughs> I guess I don't food. Think this stream is going in places. In that... process <laughs> of digestion. Gosh, you know, like last week we're like, oh, look at these cute little animals. And now we're talking about like partially digested food food ah um, if, if everyone at home did anybody have this the... on their um bingo cards for lexember i did it <laughs> uh yeah what i what i said oh maybe we could come up with a word for having a cold this wasn't where i thought we would go. this is nowhere near where we thought we'd go yeah do not eat well eat. actually <laughs> speaking of eating now that we kind of have three words it is time for me to have my kobe co analog which until this moment i told jake that it was not either a kobe co or a slice of anchovy pizza but this is what it is there are these things that have been made i'm waiting for this to be in frame for the home called flock they are chicken's answer to pork rinds. So it's basically chicken skin that has been, I think, air fried because there is like, um, I don't think there's any added fat, but it's definitely, but yeah. You don't, you don't need to add fat to chicken skin. Well, I'm so, the, the, the ingredients are chicken skin and salt. Mm -hmm. And um, they are fried in soybean oil. So flock chips sponsor us. You, I love your product. They are they are delicious. And they and look I'm like wearing a delicious glass. Look at that. Oh. When I say people at home, this is the most schmaltzy thing that I have ever ate. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. Delicious. Mm. Delicious. Mm. So we need a word to for it to breathe very badly. Maybe like uh, honestly, do we have like like H U U as a root? Have I, I never had schmaltz? I mean, not consciously. Wait, what? I, I'm in chat. No, no, like, but you, you've you not, like... <laughs> Ooh, there's, like, little hair still on here, like, feather things. Go ahead. Yeah, it's the, the feather ducks. Mm -hmm. um, 
Um, no, like, have you not had, like, you know, if you, like, roast a chicken thigh in the oven and all the fat renders? That's like heaven. Yeah. That's good shit. Schmaltz felt like that. <laughs> Is that, like, a transcription of the uh, Yiddish, Jonathan? Oh, gosh darn it. Our word for a blueberry is ooh, which is what I wanted. Well, we we have the we have it. Okay. We do have a word for uh, we do have a word for uh, berry now, so we can make it longer if we want to. We have a word for ooh for um, blueberry. We could make it longer. Could be, oh, we, we have a word for Barry. No, you give me if, if people openly bullied Pan France on Queer Eye. <laughs> this, is, this is why Bobby had to leave. This is why Bobby had to leave. Because he was, he was harassing Tan. Yeah. Ah, uh, I knew it. But that wasn't a bad idea. No, I don't want to personalize text. Screw you. But maybe so, uh, like yeah, uh, Sifu would be the the compound. Hmm. Sifu, Sifu. Yeah, Sifu, Sifu. Hmm. I like it. You can make like to breathe. Oh, I'm stupid. Well. That, no, done. that would be that would but, be boy, boy, boy. But we have like to blow. So can we make okay. like to blow mouth like to breathe? Um that I feels like uh like exhale. I know. It's got something cool. Like I, th I think that breathe. Like, Maybe don't root. We could either go root for breathe or root for breath. I think, and then we we fill the other one in. Mm, so the two options for those at home, as I be, as I make a chat. Um, how am I do that again? Oh, I need to be on the the, the thingy thing. Ah, I'm on my own personal account. Let's try that again. Oh, much better. Now let's try it. Now that I'm in like the mord. No, I don't want to try YouTube TV. Um, I went to start a poll. So, what are our two options again? Um, a root for breathe, or which which we then derive a word for breath from, or a root for breath, which we derive breathe from. Like, do we start with a noun or a verb? Noun, root, breath. Verb, root, breathe. Cool. Which, which should we do? What should the root be? Okay, here we go. It is time for a poll. I wonder who. Mm -hmm. mm. We're having a clear clear front runner. I can't see it without a voting. I can see it. I'll spoil it eventually. No. We like, we like one more person just to press a button. Then I'm going to call it. Okay, here we go. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. 
Temple. Is this a tie now? No, it is not. No. It is 75% for the nominal roots. So the word will be breath. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Love that. Love that. Love that. Which means that if we result in breaths, we are aspiring. So we are going for to breathe. Now, for those at home, I am trying to find a, a key. Oh, that one. Mateus. This isn't no long time studio production. This is this is not. We we move we move quickly. See if you can't keep up with this learning environment, maybe you need to go somewhere else. <laughs> oh I still I still when it when I'm at sleep at night, I still to myself go, Evan Enough. And it gives me every hope I need in life to move forward. And for those at home, if you know, you know. You had to have been there. Oh, my God. That, oh, it is a reference. Oh. It's a reference and a half. Um, anyway. Anywho, we're, we're, we're killing the game over here. We, we are... Where does stream come Wait, from? Wait, but but who who is taken? Oh, I'm sorry. What what what's the new word for breathe? We to didn't breath. come up with one. Oh my god! That that would be to make a blueberry. Which I mean, which I mean could be to 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 make a mistake. Oh yeah, I think that now has to be it. To make a mistake. And it would mean that ooh then becomes the word for mistake because we have see who is um oh my god is the word for blueberry this is great this is great content people so now we have the word breath which we do not have a a word for me so chat, chat. See, this is this is why Arias vote vote voter turnout. I, it's important. Is it, it is no longer compulsory. If you missed a vote, that's not on us. <laughs> but anywho, <laughs> but we need a we need a word for um. Where am I at? Br breath. Jeez, jeez, now. Word you have word. Up if you like to breathe. Yes. Like like subscribe to our channel if you like to breathe. Oh the yes. Oh the the not the, the oh the yeah. reference. Oh Arias, you would not get the reference, unfortunately. Unless you had done some very, days. very deep rewatches. Mistake berries. Choking is a good time. I, I I sometimes worry on a daily basis whether or not I may live to see another day. Oh, if not, oh, I think only one person got that reference. So that is okay oh, for another time. It, it's between the real ones. Me it, and Miles, we know. We, 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 done did, we done did the thing. But where am I going? Oh, my God. I'm going back up to our phonology and... It, Letting the good pa patrons, letting the good people at home. You're not paying for this. You're not. You're not paying for this. At least not yet. But no, there we go. There's that phonology I was getting after. You might see our syllable structure there. We need. I know. We need a word for thought. Me help breath. Root for breath. 
and and a word for choke if you want as well. And honestly, Matei's a word for a choke if you want one too. The anti breath. There so, we go. Um, do we do we want to contribute to this race? I think we should. I'm getting a pull out, and I'm putting root mm -hmm. for breath. Do you have polysyllables? We do. Um, so two will be fine. Ha! Uh, I like. Yeah. Ha is good. Ha. Oh, I'm not going to control F. Ha, but I will. So, a fun, a fun boundary, it takes. Um, ha so can work. The thing with ha is that <laughs> it will survive as ha in uh, Kongwa, uh, probably attached to something else. But so we, we already have, we have, okay, to, are, are we ready for a, a tangent yet? Or um, should we, let's I, finish I, I don't thought. think so, but ha will end up as ah, so it, it might just be too small, TBH, if I'm not going to lie, in essence. Yeah, Mateus, if you want to give the word for it to choke, heck yeah. I like, well, okay, magpie, you know, it, it, it would be the second word in ya plow, um that would be derived from Matthias' name. Um, but we don't have a word derived from McCain. We don't have a word. Remy says hashu. Hashu is nice. Hash, hashu, hashu is good. I love me some hashu. Hashu is also giving sneeze. It is also giving sneeze. Um, so will, Matei, M -A -T -A -I, is, M -A -T -A -I. Um, is free. Oh, is, is um, all you taken? It is? Wait, did you say that? No, no, that one is free. To M -A -T -A -I. cook is yeah. Matei, which... So... I, I'm highlighting it at the moment. I can pop it in chat. M A T A I. I'm just, I'm just getting some. I know we're going to come out as by one chat to know what we're going to come out as. Ma, ma tai, ma tai, and ash, ashu, ashu for hashu. Yeah, no, we. Shame on you, Mateus. Shame on you. No, not shame on you. So maybe he maybe he was busy. You know, people people have lives, Jake. They have to they have to work around. And you know what? If if that those Amy's mac and cheese is all you got, then that's okay. I uh, I if 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 Mateus is eating mac and cheese, I would like to see it. I would like to see this in the nullities. Mateus eats carbs and dairy. Jake, I, 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 I can't I, tell. see, he was really busy. Also, I'm starting the poll. We either have oh. Matai or Ashu. Oh, but we, we have to do something with both of them. Oh, we will. Oh, don't you fret about that. Yes, I believe, um, yes, it could be automatic. And I, I wonder why you don't have the IPA keyboard open, Remy. Is it because that you are doing something else? My, my, oh, oh, oh Magpie advice. solved it. Magpie solved it. Magpie did it. Oh, I okay. Now see what, what uh, Remy is doing. Ha ha. Okay, we. I think. I think. I think we called it. Okay. I'm going to close the poll at, according to my computer, 5.40 p.m. sharp. Get those votes in at 5.40. Polls close. If you are in line, you can still vote. That That's the idea now, but apparently we're letting democracy decide it for us. Great. Thanks, democracy. Rating papers. Love it. Let's go. So, uh, Ashu, Ashu is to bre is breath. 
I mean, it's the natural order of events. You cook food and then you choke on it. You cook damn food and then you choke. And then you die. Yay! I love the Yay. natural order of things. I'm right. We have we have not heard from our overlords on their impression of the stream yet. And when we're yeah. we're anticipating very, very high results. So yeah, we know. And we're not going to pretend that this is a, a well, this I don't know what age rating this stream would get. Probably not appropriate for anyone with a degree of sanity, but no, here. for sure not. If if you if you are watching, then you are not the same person. You're just you're just kind of uh, on that margin. I love I love uh, uh LTS family. Genuinely. Yeah. Heart goes out, guys. A little 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 love and support. Stick if you told me this is where we would be when I started watching DJP videos on YouTube, I wouldn't have believed you. Honestly, like same. Like I I do I can't imagine like little me sitting in my dorm making depression dredge out my hair like this is where i would be in life oh and and for those asking to to make someone choke would be muy mete matai as well i think going my going ashu would be to um to breathe Well, Magpie, um... Okay, yeah. this is a point of contention that this, I, this, I would like to make public. Please, please make the, the tea, make, make the drama public. Okay, so... I... I, from the very beginning, considered mm. Mui to be a causative. And this one was like, well, right. really, it describes, um... The a resultative. Result. And so this one called it a resultative. And then our dearest friend, Graham. Hi, Graham. Graham uh, it's Gra Gra Graham's not here. Graham Graham's not here, but if Graham will come. Hi, Graham. Um, and we we use these terms. And Graham's, we, we met Graham at CopyCon. And we asked, and he's just like, yeah, you were using these linguistic terms. You never really explained them properly. And what yeah. else is a result? It's just... what? This is the thing. This is the thing. It's too. It's too different. Like 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 morphological processes. Like that 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 that's why they need to be distinguished. Even though like it is like what? It's it's doing the same thing. So like. Going with a verb, that's a causative, like full stop. And like going with a noun is a resultative, full stop. Mm -hmm. But that that's our level of contention. That that was like um at least an hour of us translating our thing with us trying to decide what on earth to call this guy. Honestly, if we if we honored Mateus once with to choke, do you think we might put Al in there if Al is native to our little society? We, we've we only just covered enough words to get to Wednesday next week. So I think Ooh. a quick a quick round off of things. We we never made any class of, no, we did make two classifiers. Oh, we, made, we made one classifier. I think it's a fantastic idea. We completed the deed. I'm gonna have another little the dregs of my my chicken runs. There's matai and there's which became yeah matai with a nasal a and there's matai with a oral a at the end. Love it. Ah! Mm. I I hope you know the taste that I appreciate you on a level that I don't appreciate many people in this world. It's because you're both European. 
it is because we're both European and we have a bond that transcends the channel. David Cameron cannot break. I love your new foreign secretary. Oh, oh, sorry. I mean, I mean, uh, Sir David Cameron. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, come on, OBE. But it, everybody at home, it's classifier it's, time. Or is it owl time? Um, owl, 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 owl. I mean, it is night, so it is owl time, I guess, in theory. But we need to get these. We need to get these classifiers did and done. So How, everybody at home. Okay. Are we just quick firing this? Well, let's have got alphabetic order. So let's say, like, let's locate the plants that are shorter than a human for our C classifier. Let's just do all the A's. Let's do I all the A's. We well, algae is for sure going to be um, smaller than human. And there are plants. Or are they? Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Why do I copy and paste C? It's like I, I can type that that out. But C also means stem. Do these algae have stems? These algae do not have stems, which which means that is it a patch? Oh, it would be a little patch. Don't tell me. Okay, adding Don't it to me. the list. Patch. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. I know what it is. Asa. Mm. No. I mean, Asa Bisha. Asa Pusha. Patch. Asa. Noise. Bats are bugs, but they do have wings. Hmm. Okay. Um. We also have aim and goal and ambition. Okay. Which I think could honestly be helpful of our like Isu ah. yeah. classifier. Mm. Look at that. Go. Look at that. Although a nightmare would be a uh, mm, I agree with that. Should I put? We'll, we'll we'll put that into dream. Um, mm -hmm. am amulet. Um, it depends on the shape of the amulet, really. Mm. Um, I think that we can leave that one for now. Okay. Because it could be a. It's probably a lao, a small round thing. It probably is. We could say you could put loud but check something like that. Okay. I did, Romy. Esca Beecha. Esca It's not Spanish. And. Ugh. I mean, animal is going to be one of those cases where it's going to be, um, it, it's going to depend on what animal you're talking about. Like, it could be like yeah. any of those four. Well, but we also, you would have a construction where you could say large animals and you would need one there. Exactly. Um, in which case, I say that we do it based on the derivation, and we make it the same as the one for fox, which I, would be z, z, yeah, z. Cool. Look at that, everybody! Look at that disgusting triple acute. I, I love it. I do. I just think sometimes people should be content with the fact that we made the choices we did. And we we almost we, we almost had both organics and acute accents in our 
orthography as well as our romanization. And yeah. we, we we saved you from that, Faye. Yeah. Yeah. We are team diacritics. We are we are easily team diacritics. But I, I, even though that me the person is team diacritic as part of, as team diacritical, my computer is not team diacritical. My my computer is critical of diacritics. It's a is a diacritic critic, and it does not like when I try. For, that. Really. Huh? That's what Kong Wai is for. That's what Kong Wai is for is to be anti diacritical. Yeah. But over in, in, in your cloud, we are pro diacritical. Mm -hmm. mm. And then See, Yoshima, yeah. which we haven't introduced to you yet. Oh. Yoshima yeah. is, is pro copy and paste everything from Lexigy because you don't know how to type a bad eye with an acute accent on top. And then I have to go in, into special characters and find underdots. Ah. Anywho, let's classify her. So we have um, Antler is Slafu. And I uh, assume well, that's a body part classifier. It, it, it would kind of depend how they see it. Like an antler of an antler on an animal, probably a body part. And but so the thing about long thin things, and that's not a euphemism. Mm -hmm. It is, is not a euphemism. So I'm thinking like a, a horn is probably a long thin thing, right? I yes. And so I assume by analogy that even though the antler is branching, it's still going to be the same as a horn. Yeah. I mean, so, it's more or less similar material-ish. Yeah, that keratin. Yeah. Um, although if anyone has any suggestions, I mean... Like right now it's body parts. Right now it's long thin things. Um they could see it as like root systems. Like it could be in the same like like, like how like plants grow roots down below. They grow as roots above the deer. Let me uh let me do a I'll do a quick check. Um but uh, that's also getting kind of metaphorical a little bit. With... Should we should we move on and circle back? I think let's go on and circle back. And we have seven minutes left, and I, I don't want to empty time this. So mm. anus is body part, and anus is unequivocally a body part. Or is it just the lack of a body part? It is, is an anus just a hole? But we, we could have a classifier for holes, in which case it could be, depending on what you're referring to, the orifice or the sphincter. Also, I think this is going to oh. get us kicked off of YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Uh, we're talking about ain't I a lot. <laughs> it's for a good reason, though. I also think it could be the small round thing classifier. But I think body part it, it, is going to be like, what it is. Small round thing is thinking like a small ball rather than a small round opening. Thing. Generally, yeah. Because it's, it's based on fish egg. And I don't know if you would compare... I don't know what yours is like, but I wouldn't compare mine to a fish egg. I would also. And and this is the quality entertainment David and Jesse hasn't been providing. So we got, and everybody, just so you know, if you have noticed that we have this doc tile, the Yaslau reference grammar LHAB edition, because I don't think you guys are ready for the chaotic version. That is the actual doc. But we have Sai 
as a, a classifier for alienably possessed body parts. Now, I don't know about your anus, but mine is inalienably possessed. Um, so I mean, it depends who I'm talking to on the apps, you know? I mean, yes, and. Yes. But I'm trying to think of an inalienable body part. It's going on the internet, Miles. Oh, I am. Um, Don't Luna, withhold. Luna. Release the taste. Yes. Let, let's also say classifier unknown for this guy, because we definitely know. Um, can can one eat the apricot jelly fungus? <laughs> and other okay, so what did you say? I know we were chuckling. What 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 on earth? Okay, you didn't do anything. Remy, re release everything. <laughs> release the pictures. Release no, Remy, do not release <laughs> the pictures. But <laughs> um, okay, uh, it it is edible but bland. It is edible but bland. So it is. Yeah, it's it's not gonna do anything weird to you. Good. Arrow is defo a long, thin thing. Yep. That is as long and as thin as it comes. As Mateus. <laughs> I would call him tall, not long. I mean, I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, Ash. A oh, oh, we have, we have, we have a clavifier for that. Oh, my days. Yep. We do. Oh, I was so worried. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yee. Yee. No. Yee. Huh. Um, an avalanche. Oh, God. That sounds scary. Uh, an avalanche uh, would be... I don't know what I would count that in. Um, it could be for our new weather events. A what? Yeah, we. I think we had the same kind of idea. Um, it also could be. Oh, it could be an event. Yeah, or yeah. a natural system. I think it's a natural process because, I mean, does an avalanche happen whether or not someone witnesses it? Probably. Actually, um, and also it kind of it matches the the kind of m motion as well, doesn't it? It does because it's 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 flowing from a high. I mean, and what is an avalanche other than a snowy mm. river? Mm. Mm. Yes, and blue kuta. Is oh, it's Jonathan, we we were in the same exact heck yeah. Beep. Ally. <laughs> Valentina, do we, we please say we have a tool um classifier? Um we may not, in which case maybe it classifies. Oh, but an axe is also kind of long and thin. An axe is also kind of long and thin, also. I will I will put that down as well. I do think that. I mean, an, an arrow is a tool. An axe is a tool. I do think at that level, I think... Because let's see, how many clavifiers do we have, at least in this stock? One, two, three. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-three. Oh, well, that's not a good number. But... Okay, yeah, we'll so... Here. I, I found a classifier for cutlery in Korean, but it turns out it was counting them in sets. Ah, which we um, do have one for. It does, it does make sense, because you want your chopsticks and your spoon, but it's not helpful when you're trying to count um, uh, axes. 
Mm. There's two words for fistful. Oh, okay. Uh, I think they're related, though. Uh, Bye, Arya's. We'll have a boo with you next time. Bye. Yes. Okay. So two things. A, Jonathan, why I'm very superstitious against 23 is that there was this movie back in the day called 23. And the whole premise was it is that two divided by three is 0.666 about how 23 is associated with the devil. And that's why I think it's no bueno. But also we as a stream are approaching on our time as well. Mm. So I, I I know, but so to kind of think about what we have done, everybody here, we we have created some words for some health healthfully sort of things. I guess is a good way of thinking about it. They're they're healthy-ish. Like we, we we can do those things. I mean, something something you can do with your body. And then we got some um classifiers taken care of. Hmm. Yeah. Um and yeah. We didn't go around to Al, so we should let's fourteenth next week. First thing we do, we're making word for Al. Al. And it, it thankfully it can't be who. It can't be who. Can't be Although, who I have been using the principle of onomatopoeia for bird words. Mm. So come come next week with your best bird impressions. Yes. Could you say bird word one more time? What? Could you say bird word one more time? Bird word? Uh, that's like my cellar door. Your cellar door? My, 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 my cellar door. Salad or? My, 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 my cellar door is down at back. I have no idea what you're saying. Cellar and door. On that, <laughs> on that note, okay, we're going to have another booba next week. Matej is in Budapest. So you have your wonderful Hungarian dreams um, in Budapest, and we'll have a booba next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. How do I stop streaming? Oh, I pressed stop streaming. Okay, we are.